In this section, we'll discuss several optional Kirby accessories that will greatly enhance the usefulness of your Generation 3. These include the carpet shampoo system, the floor care kit, the turbo accessory kit, and the zip brush. Let's begin with the carpet shampoo system. As the name implies, the carpet shampoo system was designed to help you shampoo, fluff, and otherwise maintain carpeting. The carpet shampoo system contains the shampoo system nozzle, the tray assembly, system hose, and brush roll. It also includes a bottle of Kirby carpet shampoo and a handy brush adapter to convert the system to a carpet fluffer. Let's look at how the system is used to shampoo carpets. The first step is to install the carpet shampoo nozzle and tray assembly on the Generation 3. Turn the carpet shampoo system nozzle belt lifter fully to the right until the green arrows line up. Slide the slots on the side of the carpet shampoo system nozzle over the outer shoulders of the carpet shampoo system tray. Push up on the belt with your finger. Then, with the front of the nozzle facing you, turn the belt lifter to the left until the red arrows line up. The belt lifter should now catch and stretch the belt. Press the bottom toe touch control pedal all the way down to raise the front of the Kirby. Slide the carpet shampoo system nozzle tray assembly toward the Kirby and over the motor shaft. Then place the hooks on the bottom rear of the nozzle on the attaching bar. Push the nozzle up against the Kirby and turn the accessory lock to the right to lock the nozzle in place. To engage the belt, turn the belt lifter to the right until the green arrows line up. Then, lower the headlight hood. The tank should be filled or emptied over a sink in case of spillage. Unscrew the large cap from the top of the tank and turn the suds control valve fully to the left to the off position. With the tank level, fill to the third line for large rooms, the second line for medium-sized rooms, or the first line for small rooms. Fill it with warm water, not hot. Using the cap of the carpet shampoo system tank, pour an appropriate number of tank capfuls, one, two, or three, of Kirby carpet shampoo into the tank. Using more than the appropriate number of capfuls will cause over foaming. Replace the large cap into the opening on the top of the tank. One tank full of this solution should clean an area about 9 by 12 feet. Larger carpets will require emptying the tray and refilling the tank. Taking care to avoid spilling liquid on the Kirby or the floor, place the opening in the bottom front of the tank over the air exhaust port on the Kirby. Angle the tank outward until the lines line up. Next, slide the tank down over the locking pins on the air exhaust port. Rotate the tank toward the Kirby to lock it in place. Next, push the smooth round elbow at the end of the small flexible hose over the fitting at the bottom of the front of the tank. Insert the other end firmly into the hole in the tray. To set the nozzle to the proper height, Step on the upper toe touch control pedal as often as necessary to move the nozzle to its lowest position. To control the amount of suds, turn the suds control valve left for less suds and right for increased suds flow. Turning the valve all the way to the left to the off position will stop the flow of suds completely. Start with the suds control valve about one half open, then adjust accordingly. To begin the shampooing process, simply turn the Kirby on. As you pull the Generation 3 across the carpet, foam will be released and the brush will work it into the carpet. Suds should be dispensed in a one-half inch blanket the full width of the tray when the Kirby is pulled backward. If more suds are being generated, adjust the suds control valve accordingly. If less than a one-half inch blanket of suds are being generated, pull back more slowly 
or check and clean the suds tank filter, which will be explained shortly. Suds will build up quickly in the tray if the Kirby is not kept moving when the motor is turned off, or if the Kirby is moved too slowly. Once the surface being cleaned has been covered with a blanket of foam, turn the suds control valve off and go over the entire area again, allowing the brush to work the suds into the carpet surface. After allowing the surface to dry completely, vacuum the dry suds residue along with the dirt it contains. Note that the Kirby shampoo system, when used with Kirby carpet shampoo according to directions, has been tested safe on treated carpeting and will not affect stain resistant properties. To clean the carpet shampoo system, turn the Kirby off, unplug from the wall outlet, and push the toe touch control bottom pedal all the way down to raise the nozzle and tray. Turn the suds control valve fully to the left to the off position. Pull the small flexible hose from the tank, but do not remove the hose from the tray. Raise the headlight hood. Release the belt by turning the belt lifter to the left until the red arrows line up. Turn the accessory lock to the left. The carpet shampoo system nozzle tray assembly will tip forward. Lift the nozzle tray assembly off the Kirby. To remove the tank from the air exhaust port, rotate it away from the Kirby as far as it will go, then lift it upwards. Carry both to the sink. Then turn the belt lifter to the right until the green arrows line up. Pull the tray and nozzle apart. Remove the hose from the tray and rinse them both. To clean the brush, push the thumb pads located at each end of the plastic shield and rotate the shield up and away from the brush. Rinse all areas of the shield and brush and remove any lint from the brush tufts. Shake excess water from the brush roll and reattach the nozzle to the tray assembly. To avoid stretching the belt during storage, make sure the green arrows on the nozzle line up. To clean the tank, remove the sud screen cap, cup, and sponge filter. Rinse all of them thoroughly, including the tank. When clean, replace them to their original positions. Periodically, you'll need to replace the carpet shampoo system nozzle belt. To do this, rotate the plastic shield up and away from the brush. Push down carefully on both ends of the brush with your thumbs. The brush will snap out and the belt can be replaced. Be certain the belt is placed in the center of the brush and use only approved Kirby belts. Align the metal ends of the brush with the slots in the tray and push the brush until it snaps into place. The brush will only fit into the tray one way, so once it's in, you know it's correct. To use your carpet shampoo system as a carpet fluffer, simply install the brush in the nozzle by using the brush adapter included in the system. To install the brush using the adapter, you must first remove it from the carpet shampoo system tray. With the shampoo system tray assembly removed from the Kirby, 
loosen the belt by turning the belt lifter clockwise to the right until the green arrows line up. Remove the nozzle from the tray assembly. Flip the top of the brush shield open and remove the brush by pressing down with even pressure on both sides of the brush roll. Next, insert the brush roll into the adapter shield. It will only go one way and will click into place when fully seated. With the adapter shield facing the rear of the nozzle, slide the assembly into the nozzle. Pressing the belt up against the brush roll, turn the belt lifter counterclockwise to the left until the red arrows line up, stretching the belt. Now, install this nozzle brush assembly just as you would install the power nozzle. The system can now be used as a carpet fluffer to reset nap on a matted down carpet. Before placing the cleaner on the carpet, raise the nozzle all the way up by pushing the bottom toe touch control pedal all the way down. Plug in the power cord and engage the tech drive power assist by pushing down on the green D side of the tech drive power assist pedal. Start the cleaner and bring the handle back. Holding on to the handle firmly, lower the nozzle one notch at a time by pushing the toe touch control upper pedal. The instant you feel the Kirby starting to move, stop lowering the brush and push the cleaner back and forth over the carpet. Lowering the brush too far may cause certain carpet types to fuzz. For that reason, use of the carpet fluffer is not recommended for delicate carpets. To remove the brush roll from the adapter, turn the belt lifter counterclockwise to the left until the red arrows line up. Remove the nozzle from the front of the Kirby. Loosen the belt by turning the belt lifter clockwise to the right until the green arrows line up. Remove the brush roll and adapter from the nozzle. To separate the brush roll from the adapter, use your thumbs to apply even pressure to both ends of the brush roll at the same time. The brush will simply pop out.